How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i have got this beautiful galaxy s25 plus and guess what this device is currently running the latest one ui 8 based on android 16 well it's been just a few weeks after the release of one ui 7 and here we are looking at what samsung has to offer with the latest and greatest one ui 8 Guys I was able to install the first beta on my S25 plus and today I'll show you all the changes and improvements they have done with this major update. With that being said, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Hold right guys. First let me show you a couple of changes related to the lock screen. Here I've got the S25 plus running One UI 8 on the right and the S25 Edge which has One UI 7 is on the left. So the first change you are going to notice here is that the widgets are slightly bigger in size compared to One UI 7. Even though the number of slots are exactly the same, they have increased the widget size especially when you apply them on the lock screen. Another change is that when you tap on the clock, go to style and swipe all the way to the right, we've got this one more new animated clock style added in One UI 8. So this particular clock face is newly added and this was missing in One UI 7. The next change is in the now bar. When you are in the call or using Google Meet, it actually shows up in the now bar and when you tap on it, it instantly opens the call screen. So this is something which is related to the now bar. Now moving on to the wallpapers, here we have got couple of new dynamic style wallpapers added in One UI 8 and if I tap on this edit button, I can actually choose from four different effects of wallpaper. This will automatically change the color and give a dynamic look to your lock screen. So we have got some new wallpapers as well. The next change I wanted to show you is when I open the quick settings on both phones and here just tap on quick share. We have got this all new interface for the quick share menu which I think looks really really good. Instead of a pop-up menu, we actually get this full screen interface where we have two tabs at the bottom that are receive and send. This basically follows the One UI design language and I think it looks a lot better compared to the previous version. When you go to the send tab, you get the option to select files and then share it to your friends. I really like what they have done with this new interface for the quick share menu and guys, this whole card style layout is beautifully implemented in many different places. For example, if I open the app drawer on both phones, tap on search Here you can see we have got this translucent background on One UI 8 which again looks really good and it actually shows eight suggested applications instead of just four. Now if I scroll down it has the same card style layout for downloads and screenshots. Similarly if I open any stock application let me just open gallery and click on menu again you can see the design completely matches the One UI aesthetics where we have got this beautiful card style layout for all the sub menus. Next, when I open the Reminders app, again there is a big difference between these two interface and I think the Reminders app look a lot cleaner and much organized compared to One UI 7. Even My Files also got this new card style design just like other Samsung applications. So they're definitely trying to follow the same design language across all the native apps, which is a really good thing and despite that it's not a major upgrade like One UI 7, they are still working on more and more refinements to make the overall experience even better. Samsung has also improved the multitasking experience and now when you open apps in a split screen window let's say you're watching a video on YouTube you can now expand it much further nearly to 90% of the screen and keep the other app in a very small window this way you can easily decide which app can occupy the larger area on the screen previously this was not possible on Samsung phones but now with the One UI 8 you can actually make better use of this split screen feature and take your multitasking experience to the next level Next, if I open the settings page on both phones, in One UI 8, if I go deep inside any of the menus, we have these predictive back gesture animations that help you to have a quick glance of your destination page before you land at it. So the predictive back animation works quite well inside the settings page on One UI 8, and guys, if you're using the Samsung Buds, now it directly shows up in the settings page from where you can easily control all the settings without having to open the quick panel and then go to bluetooth devices every time the next noticeable change is in the weather application so when i click on the weather widget on both the devices 
Here you can see it has a lot of enhanced visuals. We've got a more translucent design. It also has a more realistic person in the background with nice animations and the overall design looks a bit different. Honestly, it looks even more beautiful compared to One UI 7. They have not added any new information within the weather app and you can view the same exact things like One UI 7. But what they have done is they have completely changed the overall look and somehow it feels better than the One UI 7. Now coming to the animations part, guys I haven't noticed any major difference between the One UI 7 and One UI 8. I mean the animations look very similar when you open and close applications. Accessing the quick settings panel, everything looks the same in terms of animations. But since it's just the first beta, we cannot expect a lot especially when it comes to smoothness and fluidity. If you want, I'll make a separate video comparing the animations maybe after I get the second beta on my phone. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are all the changes and improvements Samsung has done with One UI 8. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.